You guys, we are at one of my favorite stores, Ikea. So we're gonna go in, I'm gonna show you all the new finds for spring. And of course, we're gonna have several DIYs. It's gonna be packed full, so let's go. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we- Oh wow, you guys, look, they have these dish drying mats. I use these in my house. I've bought these for close to probably, I don't know, I would say they're like seven or $10 at Target. It looks like they have a green, there's also a navy, and then this dark one. What color should I get? Green is kind of spring, blue, but I have a lot of blue in my house. All right, let me know down below which color you would pick. I think I'm going green to get me in the mood for spring. All right, I absolutely love these new vases. This one I think is $9.99 and the smaller one is $4.99. I didn't even see these on the website. You guys, these are so cute. We're definitely getting these. I'm obsessed with this little cake stand. It's $19.99. And then they also have these etched glass plates. I really like this little polka dot one for $2.99. How cute is that, guys? And then they have some matching vases. All right, so I saw these cute little Ziplocs on their website and had to pick them up. They have little flowers on them. So cute. You can get a 25 pack of these little ones for 99 cents. So I always like to stop at the little vignettes that Ikea has created because they have such great inspiration and ideas. It definitely looks like Ikea is going with this pink and green theme. I love these little baskets. You guys know I have the larger one in my dining room, but these little pink glasses, oh my gosh. And look at those bowls, they're so cute, really adorable. Love all of this. I love how they have this set up. Look at this cake stand, that's $17.99. I mean, I know we're not having events right now, but that would be perfect for an event. All right, green and pink is definitely the theme. Look at that bedding, you guys. And I love how they did the light fixtures. This would be so cute in one of my girls' room love this duvet and i'm not even really a big fan of their bedding but that is cute i love this how they do the different lights like that i saw this shower curtain on their website it's got little fish on it it's kind of cute that one's ten dollars this one's 12.99 i do like this gray one so one of my favorite sections is definitely the rug section. I always stop here and look to see what they have new. All right, so they have lots of doormats. This is a new rug that they have right now with this cute little pattern on it. Looks like, I think it may be $7.99. So one item that I had on my list today were these little flexible laundry tubs. I think they're great for storing like a wide variety of things. And for $7.99, that's such a good deal. They also have two new colors. They have the black, and then they also have this cream color. I am digging the cream color, so I think I'm gonna get this one. All right, you guys know that I'm a sucker for anything that's in the organization section, especially the baskets. All right, so I'm really interested in this new line that they have. They're little canvas bags. This one's pretty structured. And then they also have the smaller ones that I just think are adorable. I have an idea for these little guys. I'm gonna get three of them. 
I wanted to make these containers really decorative and I remembered that I bought this throw blanket that had this really cool trim on it. So this blanket is actually from Five Below. It was only $5. So I'm cutting off the trim and then I'm going to actually cut the trim in half and then I'm gonna cut tiny little pieces from the trim. I'm actually using these little pieces kind of to look like pom-poms on my container. Next, I'm just going to place the little pieces onto the container and they match so perfectly. And I'm gonna hot glue each of the little pieces to my containers. Then I'm gonna turn it on the side and do the exact same thing. And I'll repeat this same step on the third side. I'm not gonna put any on the back just because it's going to be up against the wall. And I'm gonna repeat this with all three containers. You can add in succulents or anything you like, but I love the way these turned out. I want to thank Blingette for sponsoring today's video. You guys, I have super busy mornings getting the girls off to school, and I'm also not very hungry in the mornings. That's why I love the Blingette 2. It's the newest generation of portable blenders, and it's even more powerful than the original. You can also grab the blue sleeve container, which makes the Blingette super portable. I love packing my smoothie up with me in the morning to take to the office to eat when I'm actually hungry. The Blinja is cordless and portable and you can charge it with any USB cord. Blinjet has a variety of recipes that you can try out. I like to keep it really simple. So I use strawberries and bananas and I also add in some protein powder. I mix that with water. Then all you have to do is screw on the lid and then you press the button and Blinjet will automatically stop blending when it's done. It's as powerful as a big blender. It can turn carrots into juice in a matter of seconds. It also includes measurement markings on the back and it'll hold up to 16 ounces of liquid and it can do 15 plus blends on a single charge. Click the link in the description box and use my code LizFenwickJet to get three free jet packs with the purchase of any blend jet. I love how you can take the blend jet with you anywhere and blend on the go. You guys get out. Look how cute this basket is. I don't even, it's like rogue. It's over here by itself. Maybe it's this $19.99. That is so so cute. Okay, walk away, Liz. You don't need that. You don't need that. Walk away. Okay, so these baskets are really in right now. You guys, I recently bought something similar at Target for my daughter Annabelle's uh, closet, but these are $24.99 for this size like this. And then they also have a larger size. Let's see how much the larger size is. The larger one is also $24.99. Maybe they're labeled wrong. I don't know. It wouldn't make sense that the smaller one's the same size as the larger one. So I'm not sure on those. Okay, look at this one, you guys. Look at that basket. That's $9.99. It will collapse. It's pretty structured. I love that one. So if you have a million Calic containers at your house like I do, I want to show you some of their new baskets to go inside. So this one I haven't seen before. It's white. And then they also have it in the black color as well. And then the one that I'm really liking is this one. It's $14.99, but it's really cute. They also have this cute little butterfly pattern that would be great in a little girl's room for $3.99 love the color of these storage containers. It's just like a really cool blue gray. So I'm gonna change out the light in my dining room. So I need to get one of their lighting kits. These are $15. So I'm gonna grab this one right here in white. They also have it in black. And I think that they're starting to carry it in gold, although I don't see it right now. Ikea has all these new selections of table lamps that are really cute. I'm gonna grab this one that's $11.99. It's kind of, it says it's dark brown, but it looks black to me. And then they also have these cool light bulbs that you can put in them for $5.99, so I'm gonna pick up one of those. 
wanted to make a shade for this lamp, so I printed off two hexagons, one that was smaller and one that was a little bit larger, and I just did this in Microsoft Word. I'm gonna cut out the hexagons. Next, I made sure that the smaller one was going to fit perfectly onto my lamp. Then I grabbed some bamboo skiros from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to measure them out so that they are going to be the same size as my hexagon when I put them around the edges. I used the hexagon as a template. Next, I'm going to hot glue the pieces together. Now I'm gonna repeat that same step for the smaller hexagon, just marking and cutting them out so all of the pieces are the same size and then I'll hot glue them together. So I created a second smaller hexagon, then I wanted this bond to be really strong on them. So I added in some Gorilla Glue and I allowed that to sit and dry overnight before I went any farther with this project. Next, I'm gonna be cutting some more skewers that I'm gonna be using as support pieces. So I'm gonna start by gluing them to the corners of my hexagon, and then I'm gonna attach it to the bigger hexagon. I'm gonna use a lighter just to kind of make the glue disappear a little bit and have it lay flat. I'm gonna cut six more brace pieces that I'm gonna use on the top half. Next, I'm gonna come in with an acrylic gold paint and paint all of the pieces with two coats of acrylic paint. Now since I bought such a large light bulb, I had to assemble it with the light together. If you want the light fixture to be able to come off, you're gonna have to use a smaller light bulb. But since this was so inexpensive to make, I was okay with the fact that the light bulb was gonna be stuck in there. Next, I'm going to add my support pieces to the top. Now, once you get these all glued together, it is very pliable, so you can move it around and get it into the right shape that you want it to be in. I'm gonna use the lighter again to make sure I don't have any excess glue. And then I'll also come back in and touch up the paint. And here's a look at how this cute little lamp turned out. So I'm over in the mirrors. I just saw this little table mirror for $14.99, which is a great deal, but I have a good idea for this mirror. So we're gonna pick up one of these to do a DIY. So I found this beaded wall hanging. I'm thinking that's what it was at a thrift store. I grabbed it at the time, not knowing what I was gonna do with it, but I pulled it out for this project. So I'm just gonna start by cutting off the beads, pulling them apart so I get you know a good amount of beads. Honestly, I really didn't use that many. I still have plenty of beads from this project. I think this piece ended up costing me around $4. And then I'm gonna take some Dollar Tree twine and I'm just gonna start stringing the beads onto the twine. Then I'm gonna measure around my mirror to make sure I have enough, and then I'm gonna tie it off. Next, I'm going to start with one end of my beads and I'm gonna hot glue it to the edge of my mirror. Now, as I was doing this, I realized that the hot glue wasn't enough to hold this on. So I did come back in and add a little bit of Gorilla Glue to the back. I didn't wanna have too much glue because I didn't want it to show on the sides, but if you want it to hold in place, I would add a little bit of Gorilla Glue to the back. And here's a look at how this cute mirror turned out. Oh. 
All right, I'm in trouble. I already have so much and I haven't even made it to plants, which you guys know that's my weakness. So let's go to plants. I absolutely love this little display area. The light fixtures are so cool. And these are my colors, like green and that light blue color. I love it. And a ton of organization. Ooh, I need these. Look at these. Light blue spray bottles? Nope, don't need them. Oh, these are, oh my goodness, you guys. I get in so much trouble here. Look at these planners. Those are $5.99. Those are adorable. Oh, I spotted them over there. I mean, what's one more planter when you already own a million? That one's so cute though. All right, it's going home with me. I do actually need to pick up some candles for another project that I'm doing. And I love, I mean, you really cannot beat the price of candles at Ikea. This is one set I really like, you guys. It's $7.99 and you get a variety of sizes. So those are great if you're doing like a display of several candles. You have different layers and heights. See, it's right here. You can kind of see how they all look together. But I actually, for the project I'm doing, actually need a larger candle. So I'm thinking maybe these might actually, yeah, I might actually need a small, a bigger one. I might need this one. This one is $7.99, which is still a good deal. So they have a sign up saying that they lowered the prices for all of these little planters to $4.99 from $5.99. So that's exciting. Let's see if they have any new ones. Ooh, I love this. I don't know what this is. This is a cool plant. That looks like it's $19.99. All right, so here are some of the new ones for spring. I typically don't get the flowers. I usually just stick with the green plants. This one's okay, but I'm not in love with any of these, so I think I'm gonna go check out the real plants and, of course, the planters. One of my favorite deals in like kind of the wintry, almost spring months is when they have this cactus set. You get three cactus for $9.99. So Ikea has some hanging plants, but they're not too exciting. So we're gonna get this one for $2.99. It has a little chain in it, but I like that it already has the holes in the side. I'm gonna show you how to make a really inexpensive hanging plant and jazz it up a little bit. So to update this planner, it's gonna be really quick. I grabbed some twine from Dollar Tree. I'm going to take it and tie it on each of the little holes that come in this pot. And I'm gonna tie it on three times. I cut the strings extra long to make sure I have plenty of string. I'm gonna do that on all three sides. Next, I have these hexagon wood beads that I picked up off of Amazon. They're really cute. I'll link them for you down in the description box. And I'm going to start by threading the beads on. Now I'm using this tape to help me thread the beads in because the holes are a little bit smaller on them. And then I'm just going to put a bead on and I'm gonna tie a knot. I'm gonna repeat this step by adding an additional bead and then tying another knot. In total, I added three beads to each of the pieces of twine. And I'll repeat that on all three of the sides. And then I'm gonna take all the string and tie them together in a knot at the top, and then I'll do an additional loop. And you could add in a faux or real plant, but here's how this turned out. I've had this plant twice and it seems to die off in the winter. So I'm not gonna buy this one again, I've decided. This one I really like. I'm, I'm bad about plant names, you guys. This one is great. This one holds up really well. And uh, I think it looks really great sitting out. I like this little succulent set. How much is that? $12.99 for this one. I've never really kept real succulents, so I don't know if I could keep it alive. So I decided I wanted to try out one of these succulent plants, and I always am looking for the best one. All 
All right, you guys, I made it to the warehouse. Now I don't think I have any big furniture to get. I'm gonna go by the as is section and see if there's anything that looks good. Otherwise, I'll be checking out. All right, let's take a sneak peek at the patio furniture. I have never bought any patio furniture from Ikea. If you've bought some, let me know down in the comments. Is it good quality? Are you happy with it? That's pretty cute. Like that gray table as well. They have that little set over there. That is a huge umbrella, but really cool. I've always thought it would be cool to add some of these decking tiles to my patio. I just think they look so nice. As is section is perfect for DIYs because a lot of times the stuff's already put together and it really needs minimal repair. Look at this. I like this dresser. Looks like there's some staining on the top, but if you were gonna take this dresser and paint the top, there like wouldn't be any problems with it. I don't think, you may be able to, I don't know if you could get that off. I love this little Tarbonite stand. Originally $39.99, they have it for $27. I think the only thing wrong with it is the top of it's kind of scratched up, but I could always paint the top and that would work as well. I was so excited to find this, you guys, for only $27. So this update is gonna be really simple. I'm taking out the drawer and I'm gonna be using special walnut to stain the entire piece. So stain really a little bit goes a long way. All I'm gonna do is take this foam brush and wipe on the stain. After I get a little bit done, I'm gonna immediately wipe off the excess. Whenever you're staining, you wanna make sure you don't let it sit on there too long because you don't want drip lines or a variation in color. I'm also going to stain the little drawer pull and I'm also going to stain the top. Now remember in the store, there was a few flaws on top. This with the stain totally covered up any flaws. And with the drawer front, I'm going to paint it with two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. Now to make it more durable, since it is a drawer, I'm gonna use one coat of a water-based polyurethane to seal, and I'm just sealing the drawer front. I'm not sealing the stained wood. And here's a look at how this nightstand looks. Guys, this was under $30. I cannot believe all the awesome finds today at Ikea. I love coming to shop here. Let me know down in the comments which project was your favorite. I love knowing your guys' opinion. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my Ikea or other DIY videos. And I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.